The Ministry of Education has denied reports that chemicals which are used during the chemistry practicals last week are poisonous and affected students who handle them. Both Education CS Professor George Magoha and his PS Bello Kipsang say the chemicals are the same as those used even during normal teaching. The government's response comes even as the Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers Copet expressed reservations on the use of xylene and bromine which they termed as dangerous. Copet says teachers and students were taken ill after interaction with the chemicals. We have not had any formal complaint. I can say that one. And uh, last week on Friday, we visited quite a number, personally I visited quite a number of uh, centers when they were doing examinations. And we were inside, we went through some of the schools. And uh, chemistry teachers, I wish you would have gotten one. Chemistry teachers will tell you these are the same chemicals that they have been using in their, in their normal teaching processes. A chemistry laboratory is supposed to have, at the very best, uh, a hood that takes away the gases. But where the hood is not there, we ensure during the experiments that all the windows are open. Most of the substances we use in chemistry are dangerous. The substance of xylene that they are talking about is not as dangerous as chlorine, it's not as dangerous as bromine, and these uh, substances have been used from the time I was in high school. My considered opinion is that those people who are trying to make noise and uh, disinforming the public may have expected a particular substance.